Hi guys, West Country Explorer here again. Today, as you can see from the sign behind me, I'm at Stenin. I'm going to see if I can find the ROC post and get into it. I'm also going to take you to Stenin Rifle Range. So it's a disused rifle range. And have a little look around there. And might even take you to the church that's got the bit of a legend attached to it. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the main video. Well guys, no luck getting into the Stenin ROC post. It's just behind me in amongst all the trees. Now, it is in a field and there's a couple of bulls around. Uh, I did manage to get to the post and try to lift the lid up, but a bit stiff, too stiff to pull up. And one of the bulls was looking at me and slowly starting to walk to me as if to say, what are you doing, mate? And I thought, yeah, gonna leave. Don't really want to get into an argument with a bull so but their uh, roc posts it's a royal observation corps monitoring post quite a lot of them around during the cold war so i have to double check the facts a bit more but i guess they're monitoring cold war activity and stuff like that so that's what the posts were now i might have another go at getting into the post that post there at some point in the future if I do, I'll do another video, but today, no such luck, unfortunately. So what I'll do now is go back into town and make my way to the rifle range and show you that. Right. I do believe the rifle bit that I'm looking for is behind there. This is the range that I'm walking along. So it's people that have been sort of behind there. Obviously this is a ranger that they've fired down. Oops, sorry. So there should be something, a little something to see hidden away behind here. I'm gonna go over to that gate there and go through. I'll be honest, when I first entered the field, obviously all the way down there, I was looking up to, to all this and it blended in with the background so much. I was like thinking to myself, is the main buildings that I'm looking for, are they still here? You know, has it been demolished? You know? Is this going to be another failed attempt like the like the ROC post was. I was thinking, no, don't say that. Don't say I've come all this way just to have two failed attempts at stuff. But as I got closer, it's like, oh, actually, yeah, still here, just hidden away. I mean, not much to it, really. Like I said, ooh, woodpecker. Just had another woodpecker. But like I said, oh, there it goes again, sorry. Anyway, yeah, just hidden away so well. Not really much here, except called Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Who's these? Right then guys, what would have these been used for? Got a use. I'm not, I've never used a rifle range before or anything like that. So wouldn't know anything about rifle ranges. 
So, no idea what these are for. If any of you know what they are, please feel free to drop a comment telling me. I have used guns in the past, shotguns. My mum's side of the family are farmers. Oh, hang on, bear with me. Let's go. Yeah, my mum's side of the family of farmers grew up next to me uncle's farm. So, when I was a kid, I was allowed to handle a shotgun with adult supervision. And when I was when I was at college, went to agricultural college, studied horticulture. I am um, yeah, I did a bit of clay pigeon shooting. So a little bit of gun handling. But like I said I'd never use a rifle range. And that's about it for here. Yeah. What well, do I'll just twizzle the camera around a sack, guys? Oh, guys, nice little bit of a find, I think. It's uh, not much to it. I've already said that, I know. But if you're ever in the area having a little walk around, I'll definitely say come and have a look, see. That's if you're interested in this kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to do now, because uh, I'm going to go back into town. I think I will take you to the to the church and tell you a bit about um, St. Cuffman. Is it Cuffman? Cuffbert? I'll double check his name when I get there, but you know, the local saint got a bit of a story attached to him. So you know, I'll take you to the church and tell you a little bit about St. Cuffbert. Before I go, I suddenly thought I didn't really say much about the history of the place. Not that I know much about the history, but it was built in, first came into use around about the end of the 19th century. And it was used to train up like, army volunteers. And apparently it was still in use, oh, right up to the 1980s apparently, from what I've read. So, I thought I'd just add that little bit in. Obviously, I'll put a bit of information in the description as well. Anyway, off to the church. Alright guys, here's the church of St. Cuffman in Stenin. I uh, can't get in there today. Last time I came, which was I think back in January, I think it was, I was able to get in. Part of the church was open, but today, no such luck. But anyway, St. Cuffman, he lived, he was born around about 680, and they lived mainly in the 8th century. Uh, some sources say he was born in Devon, some sources born, he said he was born in Cornwall. Some have him down as being born just 25 miles west of here. Of stunning, so now he was a shepherd originally, initially, and when his father died, so I can't quite get far enough away from the church building to get a good recording. But when his father died, he started looking after the flock, uh, and he also cared for his mum. He was a poor elderly woman. Now they found hard times at one point so I had to move. I'll just come through here. Yeah so that's it they had to move. So what Cuffman did he put his mum in a wheelbarrow and he had ropes around his shoulders to help him carry the weight. So I'm probably not doing very good recording here. Yeah, and he like, had a rope going from the handle, like the wheelbarrow handles around his shoulders and started pushing his mum along eastwards towards the rising sun. And one, one day the rope broke, so he fixed it. 
And what he did was, he said, when the rope broke again a second time, that's where we'd stop. He'd take it as a sign from God that that's where we had to stop. And he'd build a church there. Well, he got as far as Stenin. Rope broke a second time. And where it broke, that's where he built the church. So this is where legend says the wheelbarrow broke for a second time. Now, for those of you that watched my video on Devil's Dyke, you remember me saying that when the devil was sort of digging the dyke, he was thwarted. He was like tricked into leaving before he finished the job. It was St. Cuffman that tricked him. Well, it's the same St. Cuffman that built this church that tricked the devil into stopping digging the dyke. I apologise, I probably haven't recorded the church very well. As you can see, sort of not very easy to sort of walk around in amongst the graves and all the rest to get far enough away to record. So anyway, I said I'll put a bit more detail about St. Cuffman in the description, a bit more of a detailed history. Right. So we just let that lady walk by then. And what I'll do is, guys, I'll end the video here. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Another lady going by then. Busy pathways round here. So anyway, guys, what I'll do is, I shall just twizzle you around a second. <laughs> got away from the main path now so hopefully won't have to sort of keep stopping for people to go by and all the rest but what I, where was I oh yeah like I said thank you for watching the vid guys and the usual like I said do all, any comments want to leave a comment do the usual sort of thumbs up thumbs down whatever like I said if you haven't already subscribed please feel free to subscribe and yeah just generally comment what you think of the videos and whatever you want to say like i said hope you enjoyed the beard and i'll see you in the next one we're hopefully getting out tomorrow see how that goes got lots of plans for like videos that i want to do this all depends on sort of how it all pans out and see what happens anyway in the meantime the usual stay safe take care god bless